Hey friends, welcome to another 400 tutorial video. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is replacing this rear turn indicator or a rear blinker. And it's that top bulb that's located at the, the top of your lighting housing over here. Again, this is gonna be on the passenger side, but it'll work exactly the same on the, uh, the driver's side. Now the good news is you actually don't need any tools for this job. You simply need to have your new light bulbs. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys this up close. This is the uh, brand and again, the model number that I'm going to be using. If you guys are interested in grabbing these, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can pick them up on Amazon. All right, let's go ahead and get started and get this light nice and replaced. Okay, so again, we're working with a 2003 to 2009 model of uh, Toyota. That's the, uh, the generational model that we're using. And again, we're going after this top light uh, right here. And basically on, uh, again, 2003 through 2009, what you're gonna do is come in here and there's a little compartment right in the back of the tail light housing. I'm just gonna pop that open and we'll take a peek inside. Uh, this middle guy is gonna be your tail light. And then if you look up, there's another light housing that's right there. That is your turn indicator, that guy up there. And so to get it out, all we're really gonna do is we're gonna grip the edges of that. And you see those little tabs that are kind of on the, the bottom and top there. We're gonna grip those and we're gonna give it a twist in the counterclockwise direction about 15 to 20 degrees. Okay, once you hear that loud pop, it uh, means we've turned it uh, well enough. Look, it's almost about the 10 o'clock position now that we can actually reach in and just pull that right out. So I'm gonna reach up there and it actually just slides right out. You can see there's a few notches that we're gonna need to line up again when we put it back in. But uh, there you go. Basically, I'm gonna need two hands now to pull out that bulb and we'll put in uh, one of the new ones here. Okay, as you can see, using two hands, the bulb just kind of pops out really easily. I'm gonna grab the new one and uh, basically just slide it uh, right back into uh, the housing there. Okay, now that we have our new bulb back in, one of the things I really highly suggest is taking a rag, just wiping off your fingerprints off the bulb. It, uh, it'll help it from uh, preventing shattering if this bulb overheats. Okay, now we're gonna basically take this, we're gonna put it back up into that slot again at that 10 o'clock position. And this is just kind of by, uh, by feel, but you'll feel it actually pop into that housing just like that. I'm gonna give you a little shot there. You can see it's back in the 10 o'clock position. Now all I need to do is turn it clockwise up until it's back in its original position. So I'm gonna do that. You can hear that popping sound. Let's take another peek. And you can see it's about at the 11 o'clock position now. So let's make sure that uh, blinker is working. All right, there you go, friends. We got a brand new uh, blinker bulb in, looking really good. Um, yeah, stay tuned. We got more tips and tricks coming up soon. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.